It's a good thing we finished all our food gathering for the winter ahead of schedule. <laughs> I'm gonna make good use of the dessert pile. Join the dark side of the yard? Or is their good name being besmirched in some dastardly fraud? <laughs> Great. Yeah, 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 it's good to know we're making a difference. Even if it does mean having to run for our lives every now and then. Now can we run for some lunch? We haven't eaten since breakfast, and that was like two hours ago. You know what? Butterball's right. I'm feeling kind of peckish myself. I gotta admit, all this talk of food is making me hungry, too. All right. Let's make a stop at the termite village up ahead. Hey, if we're lucky, we might be able to get a spot at that famous termite buffet. Termite food? They only eat wood. I'm hungry, but I'm not that hungry. Oh, that's just an urban uh, yardly legend. They don't just eat wood. They eat all kinds of things, like mushrooms. Well, that's good, because I'll take a mushroom omelet over a wood one any day. <laughs> Oh, no. Could this mean I 
I'm losing my touch with the ladies. How will we ever manage? All right, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Aha! Ew! Stop right there! <laughs> Jonathan, what's going on? Why is everyone avoiding us? You guys have been robbing this village blind. You stole all our food for the winter. What are you talking about? Huh? We didn't do this. But, but, but everyone saw you. Saw us? It's like there's evil doubles of us out there committing crimes in our name. Yeah, and they probably have weird hairstyles and signature voices and... Ah! Oh, geez. Ah! There's got to be an explanation for this. Hmm. Please don't hurt us, Mr. Zack. We have no more food to give you. You've cleaned us out. <laughs> Silence! Uh, I mean, chill me out. Don't you know who we are? We're the mighty insectable. We've beaten Ella's goons more times than I can count with my human fingers. Uh, dude, do you honestly think you can resist us? Uh, well, well, no. I guess we can't. Here, here, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Nice doing this. Mm. thing I've ever heard. Someone out there pretending to be us. Please. We're one of the clients. I mean, look at my wheel. You can't just get these off the rack, you know. Huh? the wheels, though. <gasps> it was you! You're the ones who've been pretending to be us! Uh, I don't think so, dude. You guys are pretending to be us! We're the real insectable, dude! What the...? can go by on it!
I think I know how to settle this using termite rules. Termite rules? We're going to hold a competition. Two teams enter and one team leaves. What? What does that mean? What is saying? Harder than tempered steel. Oh, what are those for? <laughs> for the losers. <laughs> Seriously? For, for, for how long? How long? For the rest of your fainting, <laughs> I'm that much closer to getting the Shrinkinator up and running again. All right, team, no sudden movements. The slightest jolt will throw off the calibration, and I'll have to start over again. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Gramps. Well, guys, can I? Chowser, I think we should plant it. Aw, but I want to eat it now, Zach. Sorry, Chows. I'm with Willow. I don't want to be anywhere near you after you eat a giant bean. Thanks. I didn't want to say it. Oh. Guys, you're making my tummy really sad. <clears throat> what is that? Everyone, go find out what's doing that and get it to stop. The Asimitron can't take much more of this. OK, come on. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I hate Mondays. A giant worm? Oh, this might be too much for even our brave insectables. It'll be fun to watch them bite off more than they can chew. <laughs> Zack, if my hunch is correct, it's not a matter of if he'll be back, but when. You're talking like you know this worm. Uh, a worm with a metal jaw. Call me crazy, but did you have anything to do with that? <sighs> yes, I did. It was years ago. I had just started to construct a shrinkinator when I found a worm. It had injured its jaw on the shed's concrete base, so I did my best to fix it. Wait, a worm was trying to eat through your concrete floor, so you thought it would be a good idea to give him a metal jaw? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Ridiculous. I was thinking helpful, but you may have a point. I guess the worm didn't like his upgrades, and now he's got it in for me. But why now? That's what I can't figure out. Uh, but it doesn't matter. He's coming for us, and we have to be prepared. Uh, with hairpins? Ah, uh, one man's hairpin is another man's customized sonic steak. You guys will plant a line of these in the ground in front of the shed. They'll emit a sonic pulse that should drive the worm away. Uh, like an invisible dog fence. If your dog was, you know, a worm. Yeah, but listen closely. They have to stay upright in order for the pulse to flow correctly. If any of them get knocked over... Yeah, yeah, we got it. Make a perimeter. Keep them straight, save your life. Just another day in the sandbox. Stick bug says, I don't care if you waxed it. That's not my leg! Wait a minute, did you hear something? No, you Yeah, you're imagining things. Okay, okay, I got one. Knock, knock. What? No! It's always something. <laughs> What was that? I thought 
I saw something. Yeah, look, kid, we've been busting hump all morning. Just relax, let us enjoy our day. Well, now that you mention it, those stakes would make some excellent goalposts. Huh? Zack races the ball down the field as he looks for an opening. Will he find one? Uh, are we supposed to be doing something? Uh, yeah, playing defense. Right, got it. What's defense? This is how humans spend their free time? Can we get back to eating now? First, I need you to go stand between those two stakes. Come on, this will only take a minute. What I wouldn't give for a one-inch tall hardware store. Ah oh, well, at least I know the team is out there to the police standing guard. Uh, I'm having second thoughts about this. Shouser, if you block this shot, dessert's on me. Okay, let's see if that did it. Just uh, catch up with you later then. <laughs> This is 
this a Bolivian Viper? Certain frequencies act like catnip to them. They just want to keep eating. Now, to just test my hypothesis. Alfonso, I remember. Glad to have you back, old friend. I'm sorry about the oscillatron making you go crazy. Here, I'll readjust the frequency right now. How do you feel? Oh, fine. God, turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off. Now that the cat's trying to kill us, how about joining us for dinner? After a whole day of eating hungry? Oh, thanks, but I'm not very hungry. Please don't ever let me say that. Well, it's taken a while, but team, it's finally finished. What? <laughs> I can't believe it! Really? No way! Finished? Wait, the Shrinkinator's finished? You mean I could go back to regular size? I could go home? What? No! I was talking about my grease rag. It's finished. <sighs> Your delivery could use some more gramps. Sorry, uh, but the good news is we're almost there. Just a few more parts to go. I know, gramps. We'll get there. Just watch out for the tarantula with lawnmower blades for feet. He's got it in for me. A what? what? Kidding. <laughs> Actually, not kidding. 